Okay, Garn update video. I did. I did actually. Did, I looked back at the video, and my Garn is actually three times bigger than it was this this day last year. That's pretty crazy. How how much everything could change in a year? How much better everything can go? I see a baby pumpkin right here growing. There's probably gonna be. There's probably a lot of pumpkins. I just don't know where they all are yet. When they start getting bigger, I'll be able to find them. But normally, I'll, I'll find them till like a couple weeks from now. Probably got another one there growing. They're all doing. They're all doing real good. We got a lot of flowers. They're getting pollinated by the bees. The bees are doing their job. That's always good. But we're gonna have. I think we're gonna have a lot of pumpkins this year. The way the garden looks, definitely gonna have a good amount of pumpkins for sure. Pepper's looking good. It's really cold right now. It's only maybe. I think it's like finally hit 70. It's a big pepper right there. Oh yeah. So tonight's going on at 51. So it'll be a cool night too. So if you guys do watch my tropical plant videos, I gotta take my. Um, cooking a tree, that's the most sensitive plant I have. Everything else is staying outside, but so that's the sensitive I gotta take it in. We got a lot some growing here. We got a lot of peppers. These peppers are looking really, really good. Everything's looking so much better than last year. It's crazy. Look how healthy everything looks. Look how sick, sick that is. I don't think we ever had that like that before. These plants are definitely going insane right now. I think it's, is this a new plant or what the heck is this? New plant branching out. This is looking good. A, a lot of flowers going on. Everything is looking really good. Look how big the stalks are at the, at the bottom here for the, the plant. That's not normal. Normally they're a lot smaller and a lot skinnier. We're going to have a heck of a lot of tomatoes come by July and August. That's definitely for sure. You better get ready for that. Okay, look how big the cherry is. The cherry is not normally that big either. This garden is something else. I think we finally mastered the soil. And that's why, guys, I'm trying to express why I think my message for compost is the best way. Because obviously, look at it shows you guys. You can watch my videos from last year and look at the difference between those two. It's pretty pretty insane. We got more right here. This is a bucket of water. Down there for the ducks. The ducks are not walking around today. Look at this. More. We'll have algae in that water. Ducks are going to love that. I hear a duck, so they're over there. We'll be picking these soon once we figure out when our buds are mature. I think they're supposed to turn colors. Not, too, not exactly too sure. These onions are looking really good. These onions are starting to get really big. Look how big they're starting to get. They're looking good. Our ducks found the water, left over water. Excuse me, ducks. Grapes are not looking too good though. I think we're gonna end up losing on the grapes. So it'll be cold and rainy, like kind of like this on last year. But after the day, it's gonna start picking up and get warmer. And actually, it's gonna be in the I think, uh, mid 80s around that. So I think mean, everything's gonna be fine. This is a great thing to get too late for them because they're already starting. It's hard having grapes when a lot when we get a lot of rain. If we would have a dry summer, we would have a lot of grapes, but the garden wouldn't do as good. So it's a it's a, it's a lose lose situation anyway. See, we have a good garden or we have good grapes. Never really both. Even look at these ones in here. Are actually, doing really good too. The random growing um, pumpkins. Maybe chicks in there. They're du oh, they're, they're ducks. Blackberries looking good. They're getting bigger. I picked the these are first blackberries. No, no flowers in them yet. Picked a lot of raspberries yesterday. I got. I'll probably pick more today. I'll probably wait till tomorrow. I do every other day for them. Today I'm picking all the blueberries. We got a ton of blueberries. That's a good with all plants growing outside the border now too. It's popping out of the ground. We're gonna have a, we're gonna have a lot of a lot of everything this year. Everything's gonna be it's like a good year. Snapdragon's looking good. I'm trying to avoid that puddle. Okay, that was starting to sprinkle. These are working good. All the strawberries still doesn't need from the pine berries yet. It might be a little bit. But this week I'm probably gonna clip off all these ones and put them in the ground so give them a sprout. We have a heck of a lot. We got so many of them. We're gonna have this whole thing filled up easily. The figs looking good. Just enjoying the, everything. Everything enjoying the wet weather. Okay, going outside house for where everything else is. The last part is I get start getting rained on. Oh, now the wind's picking up. It's raining. It's really really cold now. Oh, it's cold. Okay. The wind. Holy cow. Storm blowing in while I'm doing a video. Okay. We got the tomatoes over here. Okay, that's what I gotta do this quick. Holy cow. Okay. We got all of these here. Watermelon, cantaloupe, doing good. Wow, flowers. Yeah. We got some 
I'm hoping I got a pick There's a lot there, but I think the longer you live on, the sweeter to get, so these are all gonna be really, really good. I told you guys we're gonna have a lot of rat, strawberry, strawberry, okay, if I could only talk blueberries. Um, this year, we're gonna keep getting more and more each year. So that's pretty crazy, so. Hope you guys enjoyed this update. I will see you guys tomorrow for our awesome garden update. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys tomorrow.